Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Screaming Pirate ADC. And if this is your first time, then welcome. Uh, today we have an unboxing of something I was hunting for a while and hoped to pick up at Blade Show, but they actually didn't bring any with them. I was very sad about it and still wanted to grab one. Um, so I was able to talk to a good friend of mine, MB Wild, on Instagram and nab this. But before we do the, the, the unboxing, let's go and start with just a bit of a consistency. Hank, once again, Balrog Hank, Renegade EDC. Coin is the Mendoza EDC coin. This is the Admiral coin. I love the detail, love the weight of this coin. Uh, wallet is uh, going to be from Hank's uh, Leather Belts. And the unboxing knife is going to be the Pena Raptor. And in fact, I want to show you guys this too. The other reason this is the unboxing knife. I ordered from Garcia Knives a clip for this, and it came in today. It now is dressed. Ooh, let me see here. With a Moku Tai clip. Look at that, guys. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's just so pretty. Okay, so, sorry. I'm done staring at the pretty. I get distracted. There's shiny things everywhere. So, guys, I already opened this bag just because I wanted to be able to make sure there wasn't anything else inside of it, but we have a package. And we have a CKF bag. I love these bags. I think they're some of the coolest out there. So you get this. You get this nice suede in there. There is a card, some extra hardware down in there you guys can see. And we have a knife. So this is the CKF Chimera. I am pretty dang excited about this, guys. So there's your carbon fiber. They have this, what they call cool tie. It looks like a bark texture on the back. Look at that clip. I think that's a Moku tie or Tamascus clip. I'll have a pop-up saying what it is. So pretty. I know the backspacer is zirconium, and so is the pivot. So there's a little bit more weight on the back end. Let's go and give this a flip. Ooh. So the detent's a touch light, but man, do I love that blade. That is, guys, look at those lines. Ooh. Wow. Now, MB Wild did tell me this is still the stock bearings. These are not aftermarket. I know he likes his aftermarket bearings. I'm going to flip that over and let you guys take a nice long look. Just gorgeous. So let's check that action as it shuts. So I've broken the detent there. <laughs> ah! Okay. <laughs> so I've seen videos of this exact knife and I knew it was smooth, but good God. Let's see if I can reverse flip, guys. Yeah, I can. Wow. One more time. Let's see that close. That just falls. That's crazy. Woo. Well, let me go ahead and set that on the table, guys. I'm going to draw him in just a little bit there. Hey, it's a great you. And then I'm going to bring up the only other CKF knife I have. This is the Rotten 2.0. This knife also drops like a rock, has the same carbon fiber, and in fact has the same lock side. So um, apparently I have a type with CKF. And while these are out here, let's go and bring out the unboxing knife, drop the pinya down there just so you guys can understand how big these knives are. Um, if you guys don't know by now on this channel, I am a sucker for grind lines. So yeah, Chimera speaks to me just a little bit. The more grind lines, the better in my opinion. There you go, guys. There's a good idea of size. I'm gonna flip all these over. So you can kind of see the lock side here. Yeah, guys, I whenever your lock side is as pretty as the show side, that's a pretty damn good day, in my opinion. Um, yeah, I'm really interested in this. This is very good. None of these corners are sharp. I mean, there's a, there's a touch there. The clip is nice. Oh, let's see here. No, it, as expected, all of this is nice and rounded and chamfered. Um, I think these were 460 new and that's about what I paid. Um, yeah, all along the spine is nicely done. Oh, that's an interesting little cutout right there on the spine. I didn't see that at first. Not sure what that's for, but that's cool. 
Uh, let's see here. Large glove. Oh, man, look at all that space I got, guys. I could even choke back here. So I'm hoping that zirconium back here uh, is counteracting that weight. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it is. Because right there, that's my balance point. So, yeah, it's right where I would want it to be for a knife this size. There you go. That's a that's a big boy of a blade. Um, I like it, guys. It's a very gorgeous blade. I am sure that it is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that thing is very, very sharp blade. I really like this, how it's somehow neutral, but also has these nice curvatures that really are ergonomically very nice. Um, I would say that's more ergonomic or as ergonomic as the rotten, just because, I mean, this isn't going to fit everybody. Uh, it fits me well, but I don't think it's going to fit everybody, whereas I feel like the Chimera is just going to be a little bit better in general ergonomically. Yeah, that clip does not want to sit upright, does it, guys, on that pinya? Oh, well, it's fine. Man, guys, I have been going after that carbon fiber recently. It hasn't really been my thing, and, and all of a sudden, apparently, it is. Well, guys, you guys are going to get a lot of photos of this Chimera. Um, expect to see a bunch of it. Um, it's very, very good, and honestly, in the 400 price bracket, man, that's competitive as a very, very good knife. D10 is a touch light, but I feel like with a blade this big, it's the same thing with the, the Rotten d a to touch light, but it just drops like a rock. Like it's a guillotine, both of these are, um, which is fantastic. And these are stock bearings. They're not, you know, skiffs or gillens or anything like that. So it's kind of nice to have some, you know, crazy action on stock bearings. Um, I know some people don't like that lighter detent just to get that drop shut. But for me, I feel like it's a choice of this particular maker um, to do that. Like I know that some others are a bit stiffer out of the box. So you, you know, they want you to be able to fire it every time. Um, but yeah, I think this is a very good knife and it's very interesting, at least. Uh, as a reminder, stickers are available, $2.50 a piece. There will be a pop-up uh, email or DM me on Instagram and uh, let me know if you're interested. Yeah, guys, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for taking a look at this. Hopefully you guys are liking some of this content I'm putting out and you guys are enjoying the photos over on Instagram. If you are, go ahead and hit this video with a thumbs up. Go ahead and head down to this comment section and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one.